This video tutorial will show you how to make a rack joint in CATIA V5. Let me first introduce you to the parts that I'll be using to make a rack joint. This is a cylinder. It is a very easy to make. Just make a sketch of a circle and then extrude it. Also notice this line, this individual line that is just above the cylinder. I'll show you later what this line means. Let us go forward to the second part. This is the sleeve that I'll be using. The internal dia of this sleeve is equal to the external dia of the shaft. And the external dia of this sleeve is arbitrarily 20 mm greater than the internal dia. Going forward to the third part. This is a plank. It can also be made in the sketch and then extruded. This will actually act like a rack in this rack joint tutorial and the second part that was the sleeve it will act like a pinion now let me just assemble them I hope this was not a difficult task so these are the three parts that I just show you let me just simply separate them from each other so that you can better see them okay so now I'll just apply the constraints that are required as I told you earlier that this shaft and this sleeve they are just mounted on each other and this sleeve has to be rotated about this shaft so just apply the coincidence constraint between the axis of this sleeve and the axis of this shaft and then apply the offset constraint between the face of the sleeve in the face of the shaft and set it to 0 mm done now the next part is to just fix this shaft so that this sleeve can freely rotate on the shaft now our next task is to make this plank here on the top of the pinion so that this plank or you can say rec will slide on this pinion surface that's why I draw this line here so that I can coincide the, this line and the edge of the plank with each other so I just go to the coincidence constraint select this line and the edge of the plank and just coincide this now I go to this manipulator and this drag and rotate along any axis I select this line and I just rotated this plank so that it could be on the top of the sleeve and then I again manipulate and just simply drag it along the x-axis so that it could be on top and I applied a coincidence constraint for the surface of this plank and the horizontal plane so that this plane is fixed here and not when the other planes so this is how we do assembly of the rig joint now let me go to the simulation part I go to the TME kinematics workbench you can see here the workbench let me start with the making a new mechanism and just fix this part now you can see here in the joints there are a lot of joints revolute joint, prismatic joints let me go directly to the rig joint which is present here this is the rec joint dialog box it asks for a prismatic joint and a revolute joint see this rack has to slide over this pinion so there is a there has to be a prismatic joint because this is a sliding only in the one direction and there is no other degree of freedom for this plank and this revolute joint is because this sleeve has to be rotated about the axis of this shaft and there is no other motion of this sleeve so there has to be a revolute joint in there so I created a prismatic joint this line 1 and line 2 these are actually the lines that will be sliding against each other or you can say the relative motion or the relative sliding will occur between these two lines so let me just select the reference line and the line which has to be slided and it asks for a plane so just select me this plane which is the fixed plane or the reference plane that is the 
top surface of the shaft and this surface of the plank which will be sliding okay then revolute joint as I told you between the sleeve and the shaft so I selected the axis of the sleeve and then the axis of the shaft and then I selected the surface of the sleeve then I selected the surface of the shaft okay then I asked for a radius ratio I selected the shaft okay then it, there are two options present length driven for prismatic and angle driven for revolute you can select any of these two but for better visualization let me just select this length driven for prismatic okay the mechanism can be simulated just a nice message just simulation mechanism one and the command that we gave the length driven to prismatic so I just drive this rec and insert this value I multiple loop it select the velocity appropriately and then I just play the simulation you can say this is a simulation this sleeve is freely rotating about the axis of the shaft and this plank is just sliding along this direction on this sleeve or on this pinion this is how the steering works this is system engaged there so this was the tutorial thanks for watching